Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, AWOL, two weeks, no posts. Shit. Um, let me tell you what happened. I was going to China for work for a week. And I was planning to do a Homebrew Wednesday post from China. There's only one problem. In China, no YouTube. No Google. No Facebook. No Twitter. Not a lot of anything, really. A lot of smog. A lot of good beer. So, anyhow, I tried to do a Homebrew Wednesday and post it, but um, unfortunately the Chinese government shut me down. So, no can post. But anyhow, um, and uh, last week I decided to go white batting on the, uh, over on the Hast. Um, except the road was closed and I couldn't go white batting. And anyhow, long story short, went white batting somewhere else and couldn't do Homebrew Wednesday. Simple as that. No internet coverage. So, sorry about that. Anyhow, where are we at? So, um, currently just drinking, I've made a um, uh, New Zealand IPA, uh, it's 7.2%, um, heaps of matcha acre, heaps of savan, probably chewy beer, good beer, it's drinking very nicely actually, it's um, about two months in the bottle. So, um, mm, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, what's been happening? Um, couple of things. Sorry, Nathan. Nathan, uh, to come down there in Cargill, um, sent me a text about going out for a beer. He was in, but it was up in Dunedin, but unfortunately I couldn't. I was away out of me, so I couldn't catch up with you. That was a bit of a bugger. But um, Tuesday night this week, I went to the Southern Home Brewers Club at um, some people's house here in Dunedin. Awesome. Um, had probably 15 different beers, just, just a little, little bit. I had to drive. Um, met these lovely people. Built a brewery in the uh, in their house. Amazing. Um, husband and wife. I've never met a wife so passionate about beer. I mean, my wife likes beer, but not that passionate. Man, but that was really cool. Um, and um, yeah, so I've been up there, and I've got a, a whip beer on the go. I started some footage of uh, my brew the other day, and a couple of weeks ago, but unfortunately, my mate turned up at the same time, so. A wee bit tricky that, but um, what I want to show you today is um, one of my new little brewery pieces of kit that my friend has built for me for bottling, and I find it quite interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you. So let's have a little look at this piece of kit that's been built. All right, so I haven't quite done the whole lot yet, but you can see how it works. Pretty easy. It's all draining away. Now, interesting and completely useless fact. Which is the easiest Emerson's beer label to peel off? Hmm, question. So obviously I've been peeling off a few beer bottle labels, as you can see from down there. Um, yeah, beer geek stuff in it. Uh, Emerson's IPA label is the easiest beer label to peel off. Believe it or not, it's completely different to the other beer labels. It's made of a different material. Um... I don't know about you guys, but I just like, um, I like my bottles clean, I'm not a big fan of old labels on it, I don't know, there's something about that label, it just changes the beer. Anyhow, so, cool wee tool, you can make it yourself, cheap, cost me some beer, um, yeah, give it a go. Yeah, so, <clears throat> that's my little bottling tool that I've got. Now, feeling a bit stink about not doing a couple of posts for a couple of weeks here, so what I've done is I've brought you back a, like what every good tourist would do, a souvenir of China. The um, Now, the place that I went to was a place called Shindao, and you've probably had the beer before, and I'm just going to put up a video right now of the beer um, that you've probably had from Shindao. Now, the real cool thing about this beer is that it was... Um, introduced to China by the Germans and here's the factory here in China and so it's actually quite a nice sort of lager style beer and, and it's freely available there. Now <coughs> here's my little gift to you.
That's good. That's very good, eh? <laughs> Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so like I said, you know, it's a very classic German style beer. Um, you know, 33 degrees temperature, you know, um, you're walking past, there's sort of like a Bowser. There's a guy there, um, it's the tradition to serve beer in a bag, um, and it's only polite to then provide a straw to drink it out of, so I couldn't help but resist. I got completely ripped off, but I just didn't care. Um, I paid $4 New Zealand for that beer in a bag, which is very expensive, considering you buy a whole bottle in a restaurant for a dollar. Um, but I just wanted the experience. Um, and, uh, <laughs> well, I had the experience, didn't I? Anyhow, yeah, it was bloody good. Um, so that's my little souvenir to you guys for uh, beer in a bag. And you wait, two eats or spates will pick up on it. It'll be some marketing fucking campaign out there. Anyhow, anyhow. Um, so feeling really bad about, you know, um, missing a couple of weeks. So I've decided um, to, to offer some sort of, um, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know what you call it. Anyhow. Basically, here, got plan. This is the plan. This bottle here. Um, I found this bottle at the beach maybe two months ago um, on a real derelict bit, beach and um, I dug it up and I thought, wow, I mean, this is probably discarded 30 years ago or something, long, long time ago. And I cleaned it up and in here's my harbour tone, which at some stage Paul would see do a review of. Um, just on that note, probably needed to mash it a little bit higher temperature, but more body. Never story. Um, here's my plan. Beer in a bottle. Big bottle. Old school. Now, why don't we... Who would like a bottle of this? Here's the deal. I will send a bottle of beer. Not this beer, because I've put a new beer in it for my wife. This is I owe this beer. Um, I'll put a bottle of my beer in this beer. And I will post it to somebody who wants it. And the only condition is that they have to then post it to somebody else. And in one year's time, approximately, I want my beer bottle back. But I would like to see if people would send this bottle around with their beer in it to like-minded, probably for YouTubers. Um, I'm not saying can't go to these, but it'd be, it'd be better if it just stayed in New Zealand. But beer in a bottle, that's beer. Um, so if you're interested, um, just let me know, comment, and um, I'll put all the names, I'll draw them out of a hat next week, and I will put my new, it's going to be um, New Zealand Pale Ale IPA that I've brewed, um, put it in here, and I'll send it to you. Only deal is you've got to send it to somebody else, and eventually I'll just put my bottle back in about a year. But it'll be nice to see you go around a few people. So, anyhow... That's enough for me. Um, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, yeah. And if you're keen, let me know. See you next week.